and foremost, the beginning of what what happened? Well, you know what? I can't really tell you nothing about none of this, to be honest. All these rumors about my son being homeless and this and this and that. We here at home was not aware of none of this because he's far from homeless. Now, whatever he arranged with they, whatever meeting, whatever, he's going to be a host. He's going to make this much money. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. Is what I understood after these arrangements had already been done. Mm-hmm. He was already on a flight. We're trying to figure out why was he sent on a flight and for what and where did all this come from. So all of this that everybody likes to talk about and say and do. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. That's okay. Take your time. That's okay, my love. Is the baby okay? No, he okay. He just needed to go to sleep. But now you hear me talking, so he's like, what you talking about? (laughs) Well, you know what? Let's talk about that first and foremost to start because there's a million rumors going around and you know your son best. And one of the biggest rumors that was going around and people were trying to say was that Sosa, there was a, he was DL or trade or there was some type of interaction that was supposed to happen or anything of that nature. But I do know from our conversation that he actually called you, his mother, and that was a, that was not the conversation at all, if I'm correct. Wait, repeat that. Well, from from our conversation, I remember that you said he called you and spoke with you about what whatever interaction was going on. Oh, yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah. And um, people are trying to allege that there was some type of homosexuality or whatever going on. But I'm going to let you take it from there. And basically... However, my son was assaulted. And I don't know if maybe... See, I don't want to defame anything because it is in court. I see your comments and all that he's staying in jail. I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm going to act like I don't even hear none of that. But however, Wait, did I'm going to be say careful how I word. No, no, be careful word. how you word anything. But you said your son was assaulted. What? But what conversations did you have with your, whatever you feel comfortable with, what conversations did you have with your son to bring to light of whatever was going on. That he was sexually assaulted. Period. So I don't care about all these little, oh, he did this to me, he did that. He's not a saint. He's not a saint at all. I've been watching everything. I've been recording everything from everything. Everybody has had something to say. All of the, he's Bill Cosby, he's this, or okay this, or anything they want to say about my child. It's okay. Everything will be recorded. Everything will be brought up in the law. Okay. I don't care about what these people got to say about my child, what went on, him being gay. I don't care about none of that shit. None of that. Yeah. That is at least in my concern, because if he was so DL, DL people, he would have stayed gone. None of this would have came up. None of no situation would have happened. None of this would have been going on. Common sense, if you DL, you're going to be somewhere living your best life. And it would have been, hey, mom, I'm having fun. And that would have been that. So so let's let's get this out the way because a lot of stuff was going on on social media. And when I kind of reported this side, of what information we discussed. I know you saw some of the stuff that was going with JB's and some of the stuff that I disclosed was information you disclosed to me about your son being flown out and it not being him not being there for a week but being there for less amount of days. And all that was confirmed the other day by JB's when she said that came out of Zay's mouth himself when speaking with her, which is why people were like, you were right. And I was like, well, it's not me being right. It's Sosa's mother, who spoke to me, who told her, you know, or knew what interaction. Because can't nobody on this motherfucking app tell me about mine. It was something he couldn't do because I had information and paperwork that wouldn't allow him to until he was given, it was given to him. So I don't care about none of these folks. And he was there last month. He was there for two weeks. He was there for forever. I don't want to hear none of that. This ain't that over here. We don't play these kind of games. Y'all can keep that with y'all self. Okay. We don't play all that. 
So, so question, because I, I, you know, like I said, there's been nothing proven that your son is a homosexual or did any type of DL or homosexual activity. So until that is slides across my desk in any way, shape or form, because the other side has not shown text, I cannot say that. I'm only going off of you as a mother, what you say about your child until something's shown. But I, I do, I do want to ask you because your son had conversations with you on the phone and called you while they were there. Are you liable to at least let us know what he was telling you? Wait, what? When he was there, are you liable to tell us like what you guys' phone conversation was? What what was going on in his? What did he, what was? He no, doing? it wasn't no conversation. It was me trying to figure out first of all who he was with and why was he there. That's why I'm like, why were you there? Because if I hadn't known before then, he would have never. I would have nipped that shit in the bud because I don't play with that group of people. That's not how we get down. So I would have told him, you're not going to make any money. You're not going to be no host. Mm hmm. And I don't care what's going on. I don't care about none of the extra stuff. It wouldn't have happened. So don't go there thinking I'm going to get a job and I'm going to be able to be this host and I'm going to be in this type of family. No, this ain't that. That ain't none of that. Just don't, don't do that. Don't play. You just have to be mad for who you want to play with. Well, that's, well, that's, well, that's why, that's why I find this to be interesting because that a lot of people don't know exactly. And you do because you had that conversation. What was going, what was the reason of your son going there? What, what was going through his mind? What he was really feeling like he was about to go ahead and become this host and he gave me the little ID, like here I'm about to watch my audition watch my audition my da, 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 da. and I'm like, wait a minute, when are you doing all this? So he had no recollection of none of this extra stuff that was going on. It just didn't make sense. He was like, Yeah, it's nice here, okay, it's cool, everything cool. That was that. I ain't hearing none of this extracurricular and then overnight, bam, everything fell short and he like, Oh my god, some shit just done went left. And I'm like, What? And then that, I'm, I'm not going to, I mean, yeah, whatever what had happened had happened. It had already occurred. What had happened had happened. And at the end of the day, I'm going to let these folks feel. I, well, I was nice enough to tell you everything that was really going on and what I was going on. I'm not going to get into hella detail because, like I said, it's my child that's in that courthouse or in that jail cell. I don't give a fuck about what none of these folks have to say. Mm -hmm. I done been told, oh, you my friend, but behind my back, you getting content, you going live, you talking about my son gay, and I'm knowing he gay. I don't have time for none of that shit. I don't have time for none of that shit. Mm -hmm. I sit here and I watch this app and I watch all these messy, miserable motherfuckers, and I'm going to let them be messy, miserable motherfuckers, but I don't play that game. My child has to deal with this. My child is going through something. Not none of these motherfuckers on here. None of them. Um... What, it, to whatever to whatever sense you can say, what can you say about the aftermath of what happened with with the with um with your son? Like before he actually went to jail, um, was there any conversation with you? I know that you said there was a phone call, maybe a few days in, and you guys had a conversation, and he told you like, "Mom, shit's not adding up," or whatever, blah blah blah. But after the deed was done and after the stabbing and everything happened, was there any conversation then? Conversation when he got there? No, like when he left, like after everything happened. Well, I told you how it happened when he left and how he had to leave. Yes. The and then later, once it was time, then he like, you know, I, you know, you tried to violate me, you know. That's when he was just like, um... He tried to assault me. Well, sexually assault him. Wow. Um, I wanted to know what did he mean when he said you lied to me. You lied to me. You know, like what What was the lie? And I guess that's what was the lie. You know, lying, telling me I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to hook up with this. You're going to make sure I got this. You're going to make sure I got that. And it was a lie. You, just, you can't play with people like that. I don't care what he should have, could have, would have, because he should have known better. Yeah, he should have. But okay, that's just not the fucking case. So I don't want to hear none of that. Yeah. I think it's important for you. Uh, for I know where my child went wrong. I don't need no goddamn thousand and one people to tell me where he went wrong and goddamn like, where the fuck do y'all go wrong in life? Every motherfucking where. <laughs> I think it's important. What's wrong with y'all? I think it's important um, here because no one knows besides you being his mother what he told you. And people are always going to question that. You know that. You're the mother. You don't care about that, nor should you because that's your child. But I think it's just important to know what conversations you and your We were able to retrieve messages, okay? 
regardless of what I didn't know, regardless of what my son did or did not tell me, we were able to retrieve messages that my fucking son didn't even know we got a hold to. So all these messy ass gals on the other side, they're fucking messy as fuck. But they're so-called gals and friends. Miss me with that bullshit y'all move with. Somebody play those games. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Texas full of that the DA and everybody will have. With everybody's motherfucking names involved. Now run and tell that. Gals. Fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all talk too motherfucking much, but we got a hold to all those messages. Oh, I can call half of y'all out right now if I wanted to be messy. And and I know you do because you sent me some of those messages and we had conversations and I only showed certain things. Y'all I know. terrible as hell. Swearing y'all got all the motherfucking answers. Swearing y'all know all y'all favorite motherfucking hosts. That's my favorite everything. My favorite this. A host that feel like he was so traumatized, but he on here still throwing shots at people. Still wishing death and threats and all type of shit on people. But you traumatized. You hurt. You been assaulted. You been what? Y'all fucking disgusting. Where, if I may ask, where are we at with the process with your son now? Has he, if you can, to whatever extent you can, like, what exactly is going on? Because we all know what's happening with Zay over here, and he's only giving certain pieces and things of that detail. Can you fill us in on every, anything going on with Sosa and, and how this is looking in terms of uh, you guys over here? What's going? Because I know you said you retrieved the messages, you retrieved some call logs, phones have been confiscated, there's been things of that nature. But what, what are we looking at? And I, I know you just talked about sexual assault and your son was telling you that he was violated. Um, what can we, or where are we in this process exactly? Oh, I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna say where he had in his process on here, like, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's oh. being dealt with and that's all they need to know. He's being dealt with and we're gonna deal with all of this as a whole. He's being dealt with, and that's all they need to know. Yeah. Well, did you want to answer any questions in the comments? If I let, um, um, if it, whether was there anything that you saw come by that you wanted to answer or respond to? Um, I know that, and I know. You a know, if somebody want to ask me something, they can. I really don't care what they comment and saying. Okay, and I know, like I said, let, I'm going to reroute to this because I was saying this myself. Just a second, big ass, loud ass. A big thing that was going on. A big thing, a big thing that was going on where people were trying to imply that there was some type of DL or gay or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I know that was a big thing for you to be like, listen, my son has not told me verbatim what you said. My son has not told me anything. My son is not whatever. Well, look, wait, let me stop you right there. Wait, hold on. Because okay. I'm so tired. Of, and, and no child is going to tell you if they're DL. If they is interested in somebody, I, that ain't my motherfucking concern. I'm speaking on my child that I know of, of my child. And what he's saying, I don't care. Like I said, if he wanted to be DL, I don't think we would be having this discussion. I think that he would be somewhere being DL, common sense, right? He yes. would be enjoying his life of if he's grown. Yeah. So I wouldn't, I don't know what he's doing when he went to that state. He was already gone. I didn't find out nothing until he was gone and stuff didn't happen and I don't have a clue about a damn thing. So for me, if he's super gay and the gayness that everybody on Bigo wants him to have and I'm the dumb mother that just don't want to, you know, I guess confess it or mention it or just, oh, he's gay. Then why are we right here? We wouldn't be happy. I mean, why are we, why are we right here? Why are we having well, this? Well, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. There has been nothing I don't care how good. I said he grown. He's grown. He's grown. He's grown. Well, He's grown. Well, well I'm going to be honest now, with you. Now, if he was a minor and he disappeared, but yeah. 21 older, you're grown. You're, what am I supposed to do? Hold your hand, give you a whooping? What? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, love. There's been nothing that no one has shown of any interaction with your son, even remotely proving that he is of any sort of homosexuality. I do think that people are trying to paint that narrative, but I won't go on that until I see something. Because if someone was DL or gay, I think it would be quite easy to show a text message or a photo or something of some type of flirtation reciprocated and that has not been shown. So I will not call him any of those things. I think that is just a narrative and a story that's being painted. But I know that that was a big thing for you to get up here and talk about because in you guys' interaction, that's not even what your conversation was, according to you. What was the conversation on the, you said on the third day or the fourth day when he called you and said, mom, something's not. He just said shit went left. Sure. I ain't going to go into detail. Okay, okay. So I'll let some people up to um, answer some questions. Four days, sorry. Mind you, this is his mother. She's the one who 
let me know the information about him being flown because she found out later on. If I'm if I'm wrong at all, stop me, love. Because you you found out later on after he. Why was he there? He was in. Well, y'all been giving fine like damn man. He was trying to figure out why. I mean, like what? Well, I will ask you this question before I take anyone else up. If he was there and whatever you said, you know, he thought hosting and making money and whatever. He, Zay and these folks are very, are very gay and very whatever, blah, 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 whatever, blah, blah, blah. When you had that conversation with him, you told him, according to our conversation, that, you know, why are you going with the gayest people on the app? Why are you hanging out with them? Right, right. And his response was... All this money that he gonna make, and then his family he gonna join, and they gonna make sure he gonna meet his quotas, and all this whole extra stuff. And I'm like, but I don't understand why would you go with that group of people? Like, what, like why? Like what? The hell? Yeah. So he was. You're saying that he was under implication that there was gonna be bitches, money. And let me explain something, honey. If my child was gay, then my child is just motherfucking gay. I ain't God. Mm -hmm. I ain't God. I love me. I ain't petty. And I don't got that energy that everybody else used to have. So if my child was fucking gay, then he would just be motherfucking gay. Yeah, exactly. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, I'm a go like, what? And I don't even think being gay or straight... He ain't gonna be loved no different. Period. But I do think that it is important here to point out, and I'm saying this as an objective person, there has been nothing that has proven that this man is DL or gay of any way, shape, or form. If, if And I want to say this openly. If somebody was gay or DL... Love it, we ain't got to do none of that. See, look, look, this is what you got to understand. When you know what it is in real life, yeah. you don't got to do none of that. Yeah. Let them do them, honey. Yeah, we yeah. don't give a damn. I'm going to smoke my blunt and I'm going to chill. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Love it, embrace it, put his dick in your mouth. Whatever makes y'all feel good, we don't care. How we do don't you, care over here because my son going through enough. Yeah. We don't care. How do you feel about? Art? I don't care about none of that. Like I said, ain't no being scared of shit. If I said I don't give a fuck about being gay, he ain't got shit to be afraid of. Yeah. What was? Period. Um. What? How do you feel about all of the just? I know that you saw some of the JB stuff that was happening and, 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 and the Zayn stuff. How do you feel about all of that going on and JB's finally coming out and saying she doesn't even believe Zay's story and, and, and all of these types of things going on? I mean, I don't really care. I don't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about none of that. My thoughts was my thoughts at the end of the day. I told you how I felt about everything. I told you how I felt like everything went down. I spoke on to you because all of the drama came with you. Everybody was right there with you, and you was more aware of things. Yeah. Now, yeah, it was like, uh-uh, don't mess with Robert. Don't fuck with him. He did da 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 You ain't mean your quota. You did, This ain't about a quota. This ain't about none of that. This ain't about no content. But I see a lot of people love to have used this as content. So do what everybody needs to do. Yes. Um, I'm going to let people up for questioning and things of that nature, but was there anything else you wanted to let people know about the whole situation that was going on? And thank you, first of all, because you are the first person who has come through your son to let us know that, you know, he finally has admitted that he was assaulted sexually and that he was inappropriately, whatever that might have been, um, and and that and, and what I think is interesting about this is it doesn't matter if he was gay, is straight, is DL, is whatever. Someone saying that they're sexually assaulted, being touched or being inappropriate, whatever, you know, I don't know what to what degree, but, you know, that is something that should be taken very seriously. So um, I'm just going to let that be, you know, um, let that be that um, from that side. I'm going to let some people come up some questions. Um, OK, um, murder chart. I, her son doesn't have any murder charges. Well, I don't know. I know that you said he has other charges for other things. Whatever. No, he do not. He don't have no, none of that. None oh, of that. So everybody needs to stop. Can you, address, can you address the... I know you addressed the living situation, but they were saying that he lives in some state, and you were saying he does not live in that state. Correct? Huh? They were saying that he lives in Atlanta. They were saying that he was in Atlanta, that he's from Atlanta. No, he ain't. We live in the D. We from Detroit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you provided me with pictures of you and the family. That was you and him with the rest of the family, correct? My sons, my family, like all that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, her son is Sosa. Sosa is my youngest child. Sosa is her youngest child. Yes. Yes. Hold up. Okay. I'm going to let some people up to ask some questions. Okay, love? Hi. 
Hey, love. I can't hear you, love. You have to come. We don't. We, we don't have time for the. Okay, so she said that her son was going out there to have a host audition. She she said her son was told that he was going out there to make money, host, family, the biggest. I already explained all that. Now that's one thing I'm not gonna do. I am not gonna keep repeating the same. I'm not doing that. And I see how y'all like to repeat stuff over and over. No, I, I was just that. asking. So I was just there. asking for clarity because be somebody else so that's what you want to do alleged that he was supposed to go out there yeah. for some type of record deal with Soldier Boy. That's what he was promised, according to the uh, that other. And party. I can't even hear you for real. You um, really they were saying away. they were saying on the other side that they were saying that he was promised some type of record deal by Soldier Boy or some other shit like that. Now I ain't never heard of that one. That was something new to me. I ain't hear nothing about a record <laughs> deal. I just heard about him joining the family and getting a certain guaranteed five thousand a better a month hosting. I, now that's new. I guess that's something that they said about that uh, Soldier Boy. I didn't hear that part. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you, love, thank you, Agent. And I know that you said that he said that they do the gay stuff for Bigo only. They do the gay shit for Bigo. Yeah, they even found some. Yeah, they they be getting hoes. They got hoes too. They do hoes too. And then I'm wondering, like, well, did they try to tell him that they bees was? I'm just trying to figure myself out, like, and just say that he was a girl. I mean, I don't know what y'all trying to do over there or however it went. Yeah. But yeah, that's was the story that they had a hoes and all this. And I want to see, oh, what, what, what did he lie about? Okay, just a second. Okay, come on. That's my DJ. Go ahead. Hey, um, is there any way we can help you put money on his books? Do you got any information where we can help you put money on his books? They said, do you have any information or any way to help, like if they wanted to donate or give you anything of that nature in terms of everything going on? Money on his books. I can't hear you when they talk and everybody sounds far away. Sorry, they said they wanted to know is there a way to donate, put money on the books, help in any way, shape, or form with anything. Like, would there be any way to help you with anything? Uh, oh, yeah, you can send him. You can send cash after the help. We got lawyer fees and a whole lot of stuff that we got. Also, y'all have lawyer fees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had no choice because we got to do a whole lot. Now, at this point, there's too much going on. His name just getting too, yeah. We okay, got to fix Drop the link down there so we can um, help. Okay, so is there um is there okay is there a link or is there an Instagram that we can go to follow you or anything of that nature or how would we be able to do that? I, you saying for me, I could send. What you mean? Like, would you, you be, want me to send it to you? Yeah, I'm you, confused. You can send it. To, you can send me your cash app, and I'll post your cash app. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate everybody. Anybody who. Has well, this all back from, from Flint, <laughs> Michigan. So okay, Stella, we got her. They said they got you, love. All right. All right. I'll get her cash out. Yeah, I'll get her cash out. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I am so sorry, um, you know, for what's going on with your son. I don't know why people are trying to make this about sexuality. Thank you, love. She said, I don't know. No one has a right to be taken advantage of point blank. And I do want to say that the mother has acknowledged. She said, you know what, St my son, you know, made a mistake. There's things that he should not have done. But she also said that, you know, you, you took you took it both sides. You know, you looked at the the, pot, the pros and the cons. And I respect you for that. Um, not just, you know, um, I'll put it right down here. E.G. E game of Yeah, I did. I didn't just jump into something and say, yeah, y'all right, da, 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 my son is best. He, no, because I mean, I'm not that parent. You can't just tell me I'm not that parent that you can come and say your child and I'm going to argue you and say my child did not do because we don't know what our kids do behind our back. That's not my thing. I've never said nothing about that. But the way that people tra drag things on this app, it don't make no sense. Yeah, the, it don't make no sense. And it's like, for what reason? Like, for what? Yeah. I just put it in there. I'll put it. I'll put it in again. It's easy. A whole bunch of them gonna have a field day from the whole courthouse to every detective to everything. Like my son don't have a voice. All oh, this shit getting sent in. Ain't nobody playing. What? And that's and I'm. All this what he got to do and he know my child. What y'all thought? What? Because everybody loved him. That he he's the correct one and he's right. That's not the point. The way my see what y'all better realize is this: how messy the fuck y'all is. My child is in there. He's dealing with his own situations. This ain't even got nothing to do with what happened in Georgia right now. Since y'all want to know so motherfucking much. And when he's there, he went himself to the laws. The laws didn't catch my child. He went to them. So mind your motherfucking business, you messy ass people. And you know why we know? You know why I know you're telling the truth? Because when they pulled the document. Like what is this man doing for 
Yeah. Well, you, you know what's interesting? When they pulled the document of the arrest record, it said other stuff that wasn't even pertaining to this. So that's Thank you. That's something he's dealing with. Ain't got nothing to do with this. All of that ain't none of that. And guess what? When he got done, he told himself everything that happened and how he was assaulted and why he did everything he did. Go on with what y'all talking about. So, yeah, my, it's going to be a field day in that courtroom. It's going to be an awesome one. We all going to be there to enjoy it. What y'all thought? He was going to win and come here because he in Atlanta and it's going to be, uh-uh. No. Nah, we float with ours. We do what we got to do. What y'all thought this was? What? Ooh. And I know you said there's detectives and agents and they confiscated the phone and messages and I know that's a process, so. Like everybody can't be spoke for. Like, like what? Y'all just don't make no sense. This is like crazy. Okay, let me let some more people up here. Just a second, love. Has Bigo reached out to you any type of way to give you some type of disclaimer or anything pertaining to this case? She said, has Beagle reached out to you in any way, shape, or form to give you some type of disclaimer or information or anything in, uh, of that nature pertaining to this case? Beagle haven't done anything because actually Beagle doesn't know that um, that is my child. Beagle, um, Beagle haven't done anything to do anything because if you ask me, Beagle has been allowed it to happen. They allow the lies. They allow so much stuff to go on. So I don't think Beagle will want any part. Mother, yes, yeah, she did say, uh, speaking with her child, that he was assaulted sexually and, 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 and assaulted and, and violated, yes. Well, we see where he gets his anger issues from. I, um, I guess that's your opinion. I didn't know he had anger issues. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Happened, but he ain't go there for no damn quota. Like, come on now, be for real. He was already take opinions. We're here to take questions. Y'all can have y'all's opinions. She's cool with y'all's opinions. Actually, I'm not focusing on comments, but you got comments with people flying. Those are the only comments I can see because they're flying. I don't care to just be all in stuff. That's not my thing. But when you fly in something, it's in my face, so I can. Yeah, we're taking a, a questions. We don't care about opinions. Y'all can have y'all's opinions. That's fine. Go ahead. So my question is, do you really, uh, like, honestly, in his, in your heart, believe as his mom that he only dresses up on Beagle to be gay? Like, when he has the camera off, he's still wearing them clothes. So that's why I'm asking you. Who are you talking about? Her son. Her son dresses up to be gay? I, I, I haven't seen anything where her son has... I'm wear girl clothes. Yeah, I haven't seen anything where her son has dressed up to be... I still haven't seen one receipt of her son doing anything gay. No one has... Girl. I mean, has anybody? Has Nobody any even knows my son for real on his app. Not for real, they don't. Because he don't even really be on this app. So they don't really know him for real at all. Just, I guess, what they think and what they're getting from Zay now. Yeah, and, and your son doesn't dress up. So maybe they were talking about somebody else. Because your son doesn't dress up. So I don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Um, hi, Zeus. Hi, Mom. Um, I'm not sure if she can answer this question, but I do want to know if Sosa came clean about, you know, what activities took place when he stayed over there. Um, she, um, a question said, did Sosa come clean about any activities that took place when he was over there? Like, did he actually, did he go into detail and finally say what happened? To the laws. I always tell him we can't really talk too much on the, on the you know, the line, but okay. we got the Report. Report. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, not the report. Oh. Let me see some questions. Whew. Hello. And I'm gonna uh, put the cash app again. Um, can you ask her? Did she check her mailbox? Why would she have to check her mailbox? Do with anything. Well, I understand that it's a legal case, so if, just like Zay's not going to speak on everything, she can only speak on certain things. Go ahead, Big Bless. Hey, Robert, how are you tonight? I'm Listen, the... um, there's no manual that comes to raising our children, and sometimes they could be raised in the best homes, and they do what they're going to do behind our backs. You know, but with her, she's doing the right thing. The mom is definitely doing the right thing. And whatever she's holding on, she's standing her ground. She's finding out new things. 
and whatever. So <clears throat> I know that's a child, and I know. Hate you, but we need questions, whether it's positive or negative. This woman, I'm not here to waste her time. So she says she's willing to answer questions. Thank you for that. She, she was just complimenting you, saying that's your child, you're doing the right thing. But I dropped it because, you know, we're only. But thank you, my love. Just a second. Could we ask where is Zay 2022 bins? Um, they said they wanted to know where is Zay's car. What'd you say? What she does? They said they wanted to know where is Zay's car. The police did. The police have it. Oh, there's your answer. Thank you. Blue, blue. Go ahead. I just want to know, was it more than one person involved? Good question. Um, was there more than one person involved? You said no. You said yes or no? I'm sorry. I said he said no. Oh, he said no. He said it was only one person involved in every, like, the incident. He's in a whole other state where he's not from. He has no clue what's going on, nobody to talk to. So what else? How else was he supposed to get away? So that's how he got away. Common sense. One thing that's interesting. And he went straight in and that car, he didn't touch it, nothing. He used to get away, to get away from what had happened to him. That was it. That was all. What was interesting, too, was if you were going to detail, um, if you want to. The person who's with him now, Tay, is the person who was inboxing your son, saying he did his big one with the deleted messages. Right. When you come, just left the laughing my ass off. The last, the laughing my ass off, and the you did your big one in X, Y, and Z. Um, yeah, was he that you did your big one? How how far after the incident happened did your son receive these messages? Right in the midst of everything going on. So was it after the because step? of course they know because they are they are friends so of course they're gonna know like everyone didn't know because it was bigo you know you had to wait and it was you where everything had came about yeah I showed that as well I showed so, um, I showed those messages as well I showed the LMAO and the inbox messages and, and the Instagrams and stuff like that I'm gonna take some more messages just a second yeah so you know, stuff like okay you was crossing me you was you know you playing me you playing in my face you this you that you can't Play yes. in my face. I'm fucking 45 years old. I'm grown. If I'm saying to you is what I'm saying to you, I don't care about you repeating things. I already told people. I know that you exaggerate, and you said yourself, you know, you exaggerate. I exaggerate you the hell out of shit. You go too far. You dramatic as fuck. Everybody who knows that. Yeah. So I'm like, well, yeah, I said that, but of course he's gonna go dramatic with it. Then he got super stone. That's right there to bag it even worse. So that's just what they do. But but I didn't lie about. But I didn't lie about because he got it. But wait, wait, wait. Did I lie about anything? No, no, oh. no, it came from me. It came from, thank you. And it came from you who, and it came from your son who you talked to. Hold up. And I want to be very clear, honey. There's, she provided me. Let me see. I have to understand. See, I have to have a, a real live one-on-one -on -one with my son. He couldn't get into detail. It was just more so. He more kind of crushed. He felt like he'd been disrespected, violated. So it, it took a, a lot for me to get it out. I had to say something. Like, you just tell me, you know, because it's like, oh, gosh, this happened. I don't want to discuss this and that. And then he just, you know, I can't sleep. He just, he going through a lot. So I don't want to just, like, keep attacking him. He already got to, you know, go through what he's going through. But this ain't what he's going through right now. He's going through his own stuff. Like what you said yourself, you read this stuff. So you see he's dealing with his own stuff. This yeah. ain't got nothing to do with what went on right here. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Big Blessed. Yes, Um, I want to ask you, was your son living at home with you? And was he open to you about his sexuality? Um, was your son living? Yes, he just didn't mention to me about being uh, liking men, boys. Yeah. So no. she said her son never even mentioned about liking men. There was no any incentive. At it. I and we still till this day. Thank you, big bless. I don't know where this whole homosexual thing is. I get it. I get Zay's gay. I get all them folks are gay. But until I see a message, a text, uh, interaction that's obviously homosexual, I'm going to take a mother. Who knows her son that's I'm going to say, if you ask me my opinion, I feel that it had to been, I'm not going to say like he was penetrated or none of that kind of stuff, but I feel like it was too deep, you know, for somebody, you know, like maybe the back door way to touch in the, you know, that type of violation. 
more so if you somewhere trying to rest and you woke up to someone trying to grope on you or get sexual with you, you're going to have a certain response. I figured. Okay, just a second. Go ahead. Is, um, did they get the rest of the footage from the house? Um, did they get the rest um, did of the footage? Did they get the rest of the footage from the house? It wasn't said in the paper. It wasn't said. No. Okay. I said no. Who booty hole is this on this picture? I am Milan's, weak. That's Milan. Did you see Balan's booty hole on my cover photo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what was that. It's his, it's his booty hole. Open, it's open wide and loose. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Next question. Hi, Robert. How are you, sweetie? I'm doing good, baby. Hello, mother. Um, I just, I just, I, I, like I said, uh, Robert, I am really trying to stay neutral yeah, and look at both sides. I'm trying to stay neutral. It and came look from at both Zay's sides. kitchen. Go ahead, love. But I'm looking at. Okay, I saw the actual video of uh this was when zay uh had his talk on youtube and he had an actual video he has like the ring cameras yeah. that go through his house he has cameras and then he had a camera on the outside so you can actually see where um sosa was running through the house like in a rage like when you look at the video you know something wasn't right with the video so i think my question is well the statement leading up to the question is it's not about homosexuality, nothing about that. However, mom, the question is, tell me you, if you didn't know a female and, but you knew this female, uh, was a, 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 a gay woman and okay. This gay woman, you never met her. You never stayed with her or anything like that. Uh, but she told you all these different things. And yes, being 19, some 19 year olds are very mature. Uh, and I do get some aren't as mature. But you're telling me that you would risk all of that just being off of, of some things that you've been told and go stay with someone for four or five days, almost a week. And then all of a sudden something like this happened. It's just not adding up to me. Well, she said her son was gullible. You said that yourself. I'm so tired of repeating. I'm not about to repeat that. I had already explained all she, that. I ain't yes. about to keep on repeating stuff. You ain't here. She, she said herself. Nobody's stupid or gullible or dumb on this end. I'm far from any of that. Y'all yeah. got me she's, totally fucked she, up. She, she's taking accountability for, she said her son, you know, jumping the gun, basically. She said that a million. I'll say it for you, my love. I'll say it. You know. She said that, and I get why you don't want to keep repeating it. She said, so while you're saying that, she said that. She, yeah. So did your son say why was he in the bed? Uh, uh, did your son say why was he in the bed? I mean, that that doesn't make sense. He was he was drinking a high and you laying down and you going to sleep. I mean, okay, he was I drinking know you didn't have reasons to why he laid across the bed. He was drunk. He was high. Then let the gun tell it he was laced and everything else. So, of course, you're going to lay across the bed. But it, it's whatever you want to make it to be. And it could be that too. Shit, yeah, I don't care. I'm not. I mean, there, there are, like, okay. I wouldn't say there are dumb questions, but that was a dumb question. <laughs> did you say laced? You didn't have said a thousand and one times. Who laid down first? Who did this? Who did that? Yeah. Did you say lace? They so called like to lace they blunts and playing they blunts and give it to their so called trades and the DLs and who they thinking this and this and giving folks drinks and putting stuff in their drinks and it's all type of footage on all type of things that I guess everybody likes to play on this app. All I can do is just collect it and turn it over to the laws because I mean, y'all got a lot going on, but y'all, nah, ain't nobody no saints on this app. Did all y'all different dabble. Did you say laced? Yeah. Was there any evidence of anything in terms of that? Or was that just something that you saw? No, that was just something that was said. And, oh. and I guess during the time, because like I said, I don't watch the part that Got he it. be on. So Got that it. video, I mean, that uh, app that they be on, I don't watch that. But I guess he was complaining about his stomach was hurt. Oh. Not everybody can. Yeah, 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 they said that. His stomach was hurt and he has a headache. 
He had a headache and his stomach hurt. He kept saying he got a headache and his stomach was yep. hurting. That's when they started to comment and say, he is good for Bill Cosby yep. and people. He is good for lacing people. They will lace people blunts and all of the above. She's and not they saying say, that. What they said, I she caught said, all the footage and it all got turned over to the law. All of it. So it was all right there. Everything made it real clear. And I gave you the dates of when he was there and when he couldn't leave and how I know he couldn't get there because you can't go nowhere without the identification. I proved that to you when I proved to you the text, the day, and the time that the flight came in. So all these comments, let them keep on commenting. No, you no, you sent me all of that. Yeah. Also, you're not. Okay. She's not saying lace. She's saying that's what you girls are over there saying on that side. And all of that was turned in. Yeah, because he was complaining about him not feeling good. Everybody started commenting like, oh, man, they known for lace and they known for this. And I'm like, wow, okay, I'm just learning all of these rules and all of this stuff while I'm watching. Got it. Makes sense. Okay, got it. And you know what? It's because everything you're saying, you know, like I said, once again, is adding up. You sent me the receipts and everything. It's interesting because... I was the first what one. What am I making worse? I would love to know what am I making worse. She's not worse making anything I worse. I told y'all shit. So what am I making worse that ain't already being told? Exactly. And, but and just worse. And literally every. I ain't even came on here. This been happened. I ain't talked to no Like what? No, she hasn't. And what's interesting is when I diverged information, when JB's and Zay fell out, when JB said all the stuff that Zay told her that he didn't tell everyone else, it correlated with what you said, like the flight, the amount of days he was there. Um, being flown out, all of those types of I things. I told my son when he said, I have a voice, you know what I'm saying? And nobody going to try to violate me. You can speak on my behalf. I said, I'm not doing all that because they do too much on that app. I don't care about nothing that they got to say. They can think whatever they want to think. I don't care. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I think it's fair for her to be able to come up and speak her piece because we, her, the other person doesn't have a side. So she's the closest thing to interacting. So I'm not saying either side is telling 100% of the truth because they could be lying about things and so could Sosa. And I'll say that in front of you. She knows that on both sides. But I think it's fair for her to be able to come up and say what her interactions with her child is so that we can at least have something to that degree because that's the closest thing to the surface we'll get, which is absolutely fine. Okay. Um, they said, why didn't he go to the police? If you somewhere in the whole nother state, you trusting in somebody, somebody telling you you're going to do this, 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 something popped off, it goes left, you don't know what to do, who to call, how to get there, where to, what, what the hell is going on, what you going to do, you going to get the fuck on, you going to do whatever in the person in your mind, you going to go. So all of this extra stuff that they got going on, I don't want to hear none of that. Because they wasn't there, and it wasn't them. And let's see if you get bothered or somebody come for you, God forbid, or you become traumatized by something. Let's see how you get out of your situation. Everybody can't call 911. Everybody ain't got no phone. Everybody ain't in that situation. Yeah. Stop watching so much TV. Got it. Okay. A question. Well, some people will go to some police. Some people wouldn't. You know, this is, this is, you know, to each their own. Go ahead, Irresistible C. Um, I just have a question for the mom. Um, okay, you're breaking up my life. So you have to come back. You have to come back up. We have a heavy queue. You're breaking up. Don't got time. Love you down, though. Hey, Boo, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I just hold up, hold up, hold up, Brazy. She did not say he does not have a phone. She did not say, hold up, mom, don't say nothing. Just a second, please. She did not say he was late. Stop trying to put words in her motherfucking mouth. She said not everybody has certain things. Not everybody does this. Not everybody does that. She did not say my son didn't have a phone. She did not say my son didn't do all this and that. Stop putting shit in the mouth to try to narrate the fucking story, bitch. Or I'm going to have admin start kicking y'all the fuck out. Shut the fuck up and listen. If that's what the fuck she said, she didn't say my son. She said not everybody has options. Not everybody knows how to react when certain shit happens. So you dumbass bitches and trolls in here trying it, bitch. You about to get the silver toe boot and have to watch from the window. She said not everybody has a phone. Not everybody has this. Not She's not talking about her son. She said everybody reacts differently when they're a situation. Not everybody goes to the police. Not everybody has a phone to call. Not everybody has this or that set up. That's what she said. If she said my son didn't have a phone after she just said my son had a phone, then I would have said you said your son just didn't have a phone when your son had a phone. So stop doing that. Because y'all be hearing what the fuck y'all want to hear. Go ahead. 
Hey, boo. Um, first of all, clear them the fuck out. Um, you bitches, y'all overgrown and probably got your own fucking kids, grown fucking kids as well, and y'all worried about what some young 21-year-olds was doing. You don't know what the fuck happened, just like we don't know. We're here to find out what the fuck happened, and the mom can only tell you so much because it's an open fucking case. So at the end of the day, you overly grown, big age, motherfucking, decrepit ass, old ass, don't have no life ass. But we got to ask a question. We got to move on to questions. I know you want to read, but... <laughs> I don't waste the mom's time. Yes, that is the mom. She sent me photos of them together. Yes, those are the photos I have. Go ahead, love. Okay, so what I just want to know is how were you able to get a lot of this information to the mom? Because I know you can't talk a lot about it when you're in jail over the phone um, because it's recorded. So you can't really just go into detail. So how was it you able to um, verify some of the information which you talked to the lawyer because I thought he didn't have a lawyer. So, again, you clearly didn't hear me say we have paperwork. I, I mean, it's like you got to tell y'all a thousand and one times. Like, this is what you got lawyers for. This is what you... you so, know. she says she has paperwork. She's his mother. Don't she ask me about no car being took again. I explained that. So she explained chill, that. Just chill. Just, at this point, y'all need to get kicked because y'all doing too much now. Y'all just keep on like... She says she has paperwork. She also has reports. She also is on the phone. You she can't tell me something that's already gone. So how you gonna already tell me my son getting locked up? He's already there. Duh. She says she has paperwork. She has reports. There's detectives and the things have been confiscated, including the messages. I do believe, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're the parent of someone... Thank you. That's common sense. You gonna go ahead. That's your first move. You grabbing what you gotta grab and you removing yourself. Yeah. Um... And she also said that when she's on the phone with him, she has a limited amount of time and knows that it's being recorded and can only have certain types of conversations. X, Y, and Z. Change them bandages too. Mm -hmm. No, I heard they tell me to change them with their um, 24. They actually told me to take a, a shower within 24 too. Ugh. I know my beard look a mess, like, bitch, tomorrow weekend, I'm taking some time out to go live in the morning, I'm taking some time out live to go live in the morning, bitch, and, um, yeah, we're gonna take my, we're gonna take time to pick this beard out, girl, and get this hair and stuff together, so, whoa, bitch, this is it, yes, period, 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 thank you guys, um, I did, Kiki. like that and i heard miss jb is working behind the scenes trying to take me down i'm um, gonna just go ahead and memorize you guys you i'm gonna jerk you guys memory just know that she's always at the forefront and y'all remember the last time what happened on let's talk about it when Jalen and you know everybody else and shay and everybody whoever was up there i don't know if jenny was up there but whoever was up there uh, <clears throat> she's trying to be the forefront of the same situation with me but bitch one thing about me bitch i'm not gonna budge y'all huh? Bitch, fuck is you talking about, bitch? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna budge at all. <clears throat> so I heard the trainees, it's, it's the training thing. They working behind the scenes, being trainees. Um, you know, contacting people that's not on the app anymore. Um, saying that they got videos of, you know, the person saying that I have videos of the person saying it did happen. Y'all got videos of the person saying it did happen. So the person on that at this point, where the receipt? You know what I'm saying? And even if receipts was provided with with me at this point, who gives a fuck? I damn sure, bitch, I'm still gonna be lying. Bitch, it's not gonna shake me up, bitch. I'm still gonna talk about your dead ass day. Bitch, I'm still gonna talk about your flop ass career. Bitch, I'm still gonna talk about your flop ass motherfucking shit. I still was shaking my ass on YouTube. Bitch, I still almost spread my cheeks on your channel. Bitch, like at this point, I wouldn't give a fuck. Because I'm not finna keep going back and forth with a bitch about um some dumb ass shit like that, bitch. You all see the shit you all don't, bitch. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck. That's how I move. That's how I move with situations like that, bitch. Situations like that don't even get a light of a shine on me. You always be talking about that by y'all. That's the crazy part about it is, bitch. I still go live with motherfucking Kiki like ain't shit happened. 